Hello people. It's Bank Holiday Monday. The gates are shut and locked. They won't be opening on Monday, so I won't be able to go and have a look. Um, as you can see by the dates on here, uh, the, the, the lock numbers won't get issued until Tuesday morning. And there are hardly any vans in this week. There's two very good ones, which would be the two I'd be going for. Um, there's, I think it was a Fiat Ducato and a Sprinter, both ex-police, both very, very low mileage, and they'll, uh, I should imagine, that there'll be a lot of uh, traders bidding on those. So, if you buy them from there, you're still going to get it cheaper than what you buy it off a trader. Uh, that, that, that's just how it works, because a trader isn't going to pay top book for it. Um, so it's, it's all you're doing is bidding it back up. I'll, I'll scroll down a bit more now and I'll highlight it. Here we go. It is very, very low mileage. I'm doing this looking across the room because green screen. Um, it's, it's right over there and I can't see the mileage. I can't read it out, but you can see it. I'll click on it now. Oh, it isn't. It's, it's, is that a Peugeot or? Yeah, it's a Peugeot, isn't it? I don't know. But it's, it's ever so clean, ever so tight. There is marks on the back arch, a big dent, but that's just cosmetic. It, 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 it can be put right. So, look, it's got a load area. I think it's an X camera van, I'm not sure. It seems to have the marks on the back as an X camera, but if it was, they usually, it's, that, it's only got 35,000 on the clock. Is it 35 or 39? Can't quite see from here. Um, just a few marks. It's, it's, they have gone through them, they're highlighting the marks there. Now oh, there's the dent over the top of the back arch. Um, I, I, just a slight scratch on the back of that mirror. And uh, I don't even think that there's the marks on the dashboard, because they don't put radios in these, I don't, uh, I don't think, they just use their walkie-talkies. So, uh, it's uh, got, got all the wiring and everything still in the back, I do believe. Um, but it hasn't got the marks from taking the blue lights and, and uh, the stickers off because it wasn't stickered so it's going straight through we've got all these fridges back in again um, they are asking an awful lot of money for these so you know I, I can only say that the seats are very very oily they've been covered like in a greasy fat um, so there must be an edge but butcher or abattoir or something like that so I don't know they're they're all high milers. That one's got 105. He's, he's one of the low milers. All the others are a lot higher than that. So I, I'm not going to go through them all. You know, this, this is just the, 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 the 15 minute wonder video. So uh, I'm, I'm just going through them. You can see some of the stains. Look, look I, I'm highlighting that on the seat. Alright, so uh, um, let's uh, scroll down a bit more. There's this VW back in. I go back up and uh, have a look at this. Uh, just trying to work out the keys on on the mouse to be able to do it. <coughs> there we go. Um, is it a VW? I can't make out from this distance. Um, but it looks fairly tidy. It's very high miles, so you know I'd I'd, I'd be suspicious on mileage on a front wheel drive vehicle like that. I don't know. I've, I've never had dealings with them, so um, it's purely your... Uh, I don't think there's going to be an awful lot of bid in this, this week because of no viewing on the Monday, so uh, I don't even think you can make an appointment to view. I know my son-in-law works there and uh, he's going to work on Monday, um, so um, they will be there. But I don't know whether they're there. There's only a limited few. It's Bank Holiday Monday. He's on double time. He's going to work. I made sure of that. <laughs> so, but of course, all this don't go any. Go, don't go by. There's the sprinter. Don't go by the lot number now, because the lot numbers change twice before Tuesday morning. I mean, each every one of these. There's. Uh, it's got the marks on the top. I can't make out whether they're windows or uh, whether they're just black patches. They look too uh, curvy to be windows. And uh, but again, it's look at the mileage. It's very very low mileage. 
I can't see from this distance like because uh, I'm against the green screen and the computer's the other side of the room. So but it, they're just highlighting some of the scratches. Uh, the loom's still there. Uh, yeah, going through them again. So and normally with the police, you know, the battery's in the floor and they have the battery hatch off. So obviously this one's starting and running perfect. With that sort of mileage, I should have thought so as well. Uh, it's most probably just an instant incident van or something like that. But uh, other than that, there's just a few council vans in. They're all semi-highs, front wheel drive. Um, I think they're the 110s, the size of the motor. So we'll get to those now. There's there's um, a 430 Transit twin wheel Plex Police. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure. There's no photographs on it as yet. They won't take those until Monday, I expect, and that, that won't be in. So I, I've just got no way of knowing whether it's still the ones with the uh, electric start uh, generators in the back. Um, I've got a feeling he possibly could be one of the non-runners. I can't remember, but it will tell you. It'll tell you on the screen. Just look through it. So that one will be cheap. If anybody, if it's a non-runner, it doesn't stipulate why it won't run. Somebody with a with broke theirs off or something, you know, it's it's the obvious engine uh, swap candidate. So, I don't think I've ever made a cup of tea last so long. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm clicking on, is that the 430 Transit? I'm not sure. I think that's the 430. So, uh, you know, it's it's it carry it it'll carry uh, a lot more than the three and a half tonner. Put it that way. People don't have problems with the weight, so everything's all all uprated, heavier duty. So it will go, uh, and I do believe they got the 140 motor in there, so they they've got all the power they ever need, and it's twin wheel. So I'm absolutely dog tired. And uh, there's, there's a, one or two little vans, I didn't stop to look at those because uh, I don't know whether any of you do want little vans. I never I never really uh, go to town on the little vans. It's 24 degrees outside and I'm in here doing this. Uh, forecasting rain for us tomorrow. Yeah, these these are the ex council ones. So they're uh, let me put the cup down on the table. So they're uh, uh, they're usually pretty cheap. They're quite low milers as well. They're, there's not much mileage on them, but they're just uh, a little bit knocked around. So I thought somebody at the front door then. Uh, yeah. I don't know why the tape's on the steering wheel. I can't. I've even with my glasses on. I can't make out what it says on that steering wheel. There's a piece of tape across it, but it doesn't say anything in the uh, um, writing. I think it was just to have it de-stickered first. They, they they sometimes do that, but they usually just put it around the one side of the steering wheel with a little tab on it. Um, yeah, these 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 are still X Council. There are quite a few of the Land Rover Wolf ex-military Land Rovers in, I do believe, uh, and so I am led to believe that the only thing that distinguishes them from uh, ordinary Land Rover Wolves is the fact that military have green grills and standard ones have uh, black grills. So all the grills have been taken out, that's what the son was doing at work yesterday, painting the grills back to black, and uh, basically that, that's it. So um, it's down to you. Check. It, it, uh, they might. The, the girls in the office might be in on Monday, even if it's for a few hours. And they might update this again Monday afternoon. I don't know. So I'm leaving it down to you to check the website. The website is www.brightwells.com, and uh, there you can get to it. You can get to the catalogue that way. Um, you click on the sale date 
there is another classic sale coming up soon as well so uh, I'll leave it all down to you to play with and that's all I can help you with this week it's a shame I wasn't still on holiday but uh, I'm, looks like I'm still moving the screen around but uh, I know I finished I don't know what I was talking about I'll just scroll back up I'll sit here whilst you scroll back up I mean I look slow anyway so yeah yeah, today t-shirt it is bloody warm out t-shirt just t I, I brushed up against it up in settle in the public car park I brushed up against a tree scratched all the way down the side of the van only surface scratches so I've just been a tea cut all that out so it's t-shirt I got sandals and socks on because it's bloody beautiful out there get my vitamin B uh, right looking at it that's all I'm gonna help you with just those first two that I showed you, the, uh, I, I don't know whether it was a Fiat Ducato or Peugeot uh, uh, Master or something, I don't know what it was. Uh, that's, that's the one I'm clicking on there now. Uh, I can't quite see what it is from this distance. They're both very, very, very low mileage. Um, I think they're un under 50,000, I'm not sure, I can't remember now. Um, so... I'm leaving it up to you. Please check their website, and uh, you know you can tell me on the on the Tuesday when I'm running the live feed. There will be there, there will be the sale, so I will be doing the live feed. So I'm going to love you and leave you, and leave you with what you got. Thanks very much. Cheers. Thank you.